Okay, good morning everybody. Welcome back to the channel. We got just a, this is going to be a fairly short one, especially by my standards. <laughs> uh, we're going to do, there's uh, two videos here on the Diamonds Are Forever rehearsal. We've seen one of them. I don't know if you guys remember it or not, but this other one is new. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six seven other uh, short uh, little various things. One of them is really interesting is um, Grandma Mary's concerned there's ice, There's looks like there's ice at the airport on the runway, and she's pretty concerned about that. And you know what, I don't blame her. <laughs> it always makes me nervous too when you're, the, the weather's not cooperative with your flight plans. Um, it's actually the other way around, but you know, the weather's the weather, right? Our flight plans are uh, not that critical to the weather patterns, I guess. So let's go ahead and watch this one, the first one. I don't know if you can see it or not. We already saw these here yesterday. These were fantastic. Uh, and then we see Uncle Mike here coming up uh, to the stage. But let's go ahead and watch and let's watch it. What the heck are we talking about? It? Let's watch the thing. One, two, pop up. Yeah, yeah. One, two, pop up. One, two, pop, pop. It's the house. Watch this again. Uh, <laughs> yep, let's watch it again.
There's Uncle Mike running the show, man. <clears throat> always there, always present, always uh, alert, uh, it seems like. And you'll see, uh, I think you'll see the little girl run around front there. That's Juliet, and uh, I think she might have a couple people with her, other people. I couldn't tell who they were. Uh, might be one of her friends or something. So, <laughs> usually Juliet's running around somewhere. She's, she's, uh, she, she's an active one, that girl. So, let's move on to the next one. Uh, that should do it. Yeah, there's Juliet. Yeah, I don't know what might be Uncle Mike's.
Okay, <clears throat> sorry for that, me leaving the screen and all that. I got a doctor's appointment. I got to leave in like one minute or I'm going to be late. <laughs> and that's my morning coffee. And if I don't have that, uh, I don't know what I'll do down there. Because uh, I usually got to wait a little while before I actually go in to see the doctor. But anyway, so the uh, so I apologize for that. I think that's the first time and I think I got uh, over 1,200 videos posted right now. I think that's the first time you've seen me eat or drink anything on screen because I just don't think it's a good thing to do and I apologize for it, but I am in a time crunch here right now, so uh, it's a self-imposed time crunch, so I'm not blaming anybody, <laughs> but I, I gotta go like now, okay? So, um, yeah, seven minutes to get down here, excuse me, <laughs> I might have another minute, <laughs> it depends, uh, oh boy. My sister's already down there waiting for me. She's always early. Yep. Yeah, she's waiting for me down there. So, uh, okay. So these, I'm going to come back and make my commentary. I just wanted to apologize for the drinking the coffee thing. I... Uh, wasn't sure I was going to have enough time to drink it on the way down here driving in the car. And sometimes that's not the best thing to do anyway. So let me put this on pause. And we'll see if we can pick up where we left off. Okay, I'm back. I'm back from my doctor's appointment. <laughs> I played uh, a couple hours of pickleball. And went to the store. Blah, blah, blah. Bunch of stuff. But I'm back now. So... <laughs> It's been quite of a quite a long pause. Let's go ahead and watch the video. I don't think we've I, I've seen this one before, but we'll watch it again.
two, up, up. One, two. Okay, sorry. I get, I get mesmerized and caught up in the video. I forget what I'm doing. Uh, so, let me read you the hashtags. Angelina Jordan, Angelina Jordana, Juliet, Michael Estar, Mozart's Art. There's, um, obviously there's a guy, that, the guy making the noises here. He's a sound check guy, uh, obviously, or a sound guy, part of the sound team. And, um, you know, there was a little bit of feedback there and they were fixing it. When you look at this theater, you know, Angelina's performed all kinds of places all over the world, all kinds of different venues. There's been some really elaborate ones and some that were pretty basic. She also sings in parking garages while she's walking to her car uh, in the, that park with the piano there. She plays the songs there and sings there too. Uh, in her car, whatever she's in her car, with anybody she's in there singing. And... Oh, in the bathroom at the uh, <laughs> at the debutante ball, right? You know, I think she was in the bathroom, actually. I thought the acoustics were pretty good. So, you know, Angelina has, has sung many places, many different situations, all kinds of different things. And this is Las Vegas. This is the entertainment capital of the world. Everything they do is geared towards entertaining you, the, whoever goes there to visit Las Vegas. And to draw you in. You know, they want you to come there. They want you to see the shows. They want you to gamble and spend your money and have a good time. You know, it's... it's The whole place is designed to make your stay entertaining and fun and exciting, if you will. Look at the stage. Just look at this part of the stage right here. You got all these different lights all over the place, okay? Now, Angelina has performed under lights before, but usually, you know, they're not this many lights, this many, this elaborate. The smoke machine, it, that smoke is like evenly distributed throughout the whole stage. How many times have you seen smoke where it's like really thick in one part of the stage, not so much on the other? It goes down by the floor and then sometimes it doesn't come back up, you know? This is like evenly distributed smoke. How do you do that, okay? There's only one way you do it, is you know your equipment and you know how it functions and you know how to make it do what you want it to do, right? And that's what, that's what Las Vegas is. Las Vegas is entertainment. They know how to set up a performance. They know how to set up a stage. They know all this stuff. Angelina is there working and uh, not working, but performing on that stage in that environment. I think uh, it's always worth pointing out that I think that uh, I think her family's on the right track with her career. I have faith in them. And... Rob Christie's no no uh, uh, slouch. He's well known. He's he wouldn't be where he is unless he was uh, knew what he was doing. So you know you have sometimes you have to have faith in those that, that do know know them some things. Now why why slow walk Angelina's career? Because she's just a, she's only she's just turned eighteen. Okay, does she need? From what I can tell, her whole life that we've seen her. Uh, her family apparently has some kind of money or, or enough money to be able to take Angelina places and do things with Angelina, travel the world basically, uh, and, and attend concerts and uh, performances. And you know, none of that stuff's cheap. Plus, her whole family tends to go, you know, so it's not just one person or two people, it's, it's, it's an entourage. And you have to, you know, that's not cheap no matter how you look at it. And how they paid for it all is none of my business, and I don't really care. But I, they, they were able, oh, fortunate enough to be in a position where they could uh, provide Angelina every opportunity and, and had the resources to make it all happen. And that's a great benefit to, to Angelina. But her par her uh, her family, everybody that's involved in her her rearage, is they're all looking out for her. It's not, it's not really about them. It's about her, Angelina. And they're, they're concerned with her welfare. Why? They're family. That's why. 
you know, you get other people in there, and it's like, they're, they're, you know, she's a, a commodity. I'm not saying Rob Christie's like that. Rob Christie seems to be very tight with the family. But, you know, if you, if you start looking at somebody as a, as a product or a commodity, that's a whole different thing. That, I don't think the family ever wants to be Angelina to be seen as a commodity. She's a unique, once in a lifetime, once in a, at least a generation, but I think in a lifetime, talent that doesn't come along very often. She has a, she has gifts. She just she is music. I believe that, and <laughs> it, it's rare, very rare. It may turn out to be that Angelina is the best singer, everything considered, ever. It may come out that way at the end. We're not there yet. I think she is now, but I'm a biased fan. Many of you may think the same thing. You're also biased fans. And only time will tell. And as she gets more and more known and probably gets involved in things that are going to bring her more fame and notoriety, then, you know, that'll, that'll start to tell the story. Because we know her story. We've been following her, right? She's a great person, too. Her whole family's great. And she's a humanitarian. You know, she's done a lot. She's raised a lot of money for charity. I mean, there's so much to her character and her nature that's admirable. Something that you should want to emulate, right, in your own self. And that's what I did. You know, I went on, I went on a deep dive and I said, you know what? What kind of person am I really? You know, I've done some bad things. I've done some good things. I've done bad things with, uh, without intending for them to be bad. They've turned out bad. I've done some good things that turned out to be bad or good either way. And, you know, then you look at your nature. What is my nature? Is my nature that I'm a good person and just bad things happen sometimes? Or am I actually, do I have bad in me and sometimes it just comes out at certain times, you know? I don't know. So I, I, went, I went on a dive, you know, and I looked at a whole, all kinds of stuff in my life and I tried to uh, look at it objectively and uh, what can I do better? You know, is there anything I can do to be a better person? Is there anything I can do to make up for some things that I've done? Whatever the case might be. Um, should I do that? Shouldn't I do that? You know, it, it's... Angelina did that at nine years old when I saw I put a spell on you. Okay? I've told this story a lot, so you probably all have heard it before. But... It's, it's a rare thing that somebody can move you that much, I think. Because hearing a great song and a great singer is one thing, but being moved to inspect your whole life because of it, yeah, that's a whole different thing, way different. So let's move on. Um, I think I wanted to watch these two shows. I don't know if you want to see another one on this video or not. Let's check out the... We are... We just saw those two videos. I think we're going to save the rest for another video. Because this one was pretty long. I think when we come back, we're going to do these three. Grandma Mary's worried about the ice on the, on the tarmac at the airport. And we'll probably do over to here. These are all more rehearsals for this show. All these ones here. We're going to come do those... Uh, I don't know if we'll do them all in one big long video or a couple of short ones, but we're going to be back to do those shortly. And I want to get, I want to see if I can get through with these so we can uh, watch some of the other videos. So let me come back. There's also, I think there's two new ones at the top. Hang on a second. Yes, there is. There's this one and this one, which we haven't seen. And we'll come back and we'll do those two first. They're the newest ones. And then we'll scoot down there and we'll, we'll finish up this aisle, this row, and then those four on that row. Okay? All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and I appreciate you being here. Uh, sorry for the long, uh, well, it wasn't long for you guys, but I've taken a break and then drinking coffee on screen. I don't, I, I believe I've never done that before. And I don't think it's the right thing to do, but I was under some time constraints this morning. And trust me, I need my coffee in the morning. <laughs> I, was, I was up till 
3.30 in the morning watching how to cut your hair videos because I'm going to cut my hair today, okay? So I was getting instruction on, from different people. And I'm going to videotape and put it on my site too if you guys want to watch me cut my hair. So uh, that's coming up to later today. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Have a good day, good night, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. We will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.